Hi, I'm Craig. Hi, I'm Jane. We're reporters at BuzzFeed News, and our job is to debunk fake stuff on the internet every day. So we're going to show you some of the tools and tips and tricks that we use so that you can do it too. In this video, we're going to figure out the source of a story online and teach you some who is wizardry to figure out who might be behind a domain. If you see a story online, maybe it's shared on Facebook like this one, and you want to figure out if it's true or not, there are a few things you can do. So first, if we click on it from this Facebook page, it's going to open up the article page. And we can see here that it's a site called onlypolitics.info if we look up at the domain name. Now, I'm not really familiar with that site, so I want to investigate a little bit more. If I scroll down, I can see that there's no links to an about page or any kind of information about the site. So that makes me a little bit suspicious. And in this case, the story is claiming that Malia Obama was charged with starting the Tide Pod Challenge. So if you want to figure out whether that's true or not, we can see in here there's a quote that they say is from Massachusetts Police Chief Jack Bowman. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into a Google search. And let's see what we get. So our first two results here are articles debunking this claim. So we can see here an article that says it's fake news, that it originated on a site uh, that published it in April and that there's no truth to the story and the police have not corroborated and there's no other information to back it up. And we can also go to the link to the original site and we can see that it's actually been taken offline. So that's another reason to really question this story. In this case, you can be pretty sure that Malia Obama did not start the Tide Pod Challenge. So if you want to know a little bit more about the website that originally published the Malia Obama story, there's a really easy way to do that. Uh, what you do is you go to the website Domain Big Data, and you're just going to copy and paste the original URL of the website right here in the search box. What that does is it tells you the name of the person who created this website. Sometimes it's hidden, but a lot of the times they don't necessarily hide their identity. So right here, we see that this website is owned by a man named Christopher Blair. And we see that this website is just eight days old. So it is probably not a very reliable established media organization. Through this, we can also see other websites associated with the email address Christopher Blair registered his website under. So there are 14 other websites. Let's check it out here. Just click on the email. And here are all the other domains that Christopher Blair has registered. Looks like all of them were in 2018, um, including nofakenewsonline.us. And you've uncovered a small network of fake news websites. Congratulations.